What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how to create your own bootable VHD file which you can then install Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows Server in that file and also use that on a virtual box or whatever you like. Okay, We're going to be doing this inside disk part, this is not the only way of doing it but we'll be using disk part and I've got a Windows 7 64 bit operating system. So we need to open up a command prompt here and run that as administrator. So let's go uh, down and open up a command prompt, type cmd, and then right click on this and run this as administrator. Now once we've got this open you want to make sure it says administrator on the top left hand side here. And then we're going to type disk part. Once we've done that, that should open up disk part. Now we need to create our virtual disk file and we're going to type create vdisk file. Now once we've got that done, we're going to type equals and then the actual location where we want that file to be created. Now if it's in the C root directory, you will need to run as administrator if you're doing it inside a virtual box. So I'm going to be doing it on my G drive because then it's unprotected and I can just click on it. So I'm going to call mine win7.vhd, uh, which is virtual hard drive. Then we need to make the maximum size what we want to create it. So I'm going to type maximum and I'm going to make mine say 30 gigs. You can make it 100 gigs if you like. This is going to now create a file. It will take some time depending on the size of the drive that you've created. Okay, So it's going to be going into our G drive and it's going to be called Win7 and it's a maximum size of 30 gigs. Okay, let's need complete now. Okay, so now that's completed, let's take a look at it. So inside our G drive here, we should have a file called win7.vhd and it is in 30 gigs roughly in size. Okay, so now we need to select the virtual disk file. So I'm going to type select vdisk file equals and then the G, uh, G drive and the actual file name, whatever you've created yours. Okay, so now we need to attach our virtual disk. So we're going to type attach vdisk. Now we need to create a partition primary. So I'm going to type create partition primary. Okay, now we've done that, we need to format our little uh, virtual disk we've done. So we're going to type format fs equals ntfs, that's what I'm creating mine as. And then I'm going to do quick for a quick format. Then we need to label it, which is i.e. name of the actual file that you want to call it. So we're going to call ours Win7. Okay, now we've done that. It's going to do a quick format there. Now we've done that, we can actually list the volume to find out whether it's been located in that partition there that we've done. And you can see it there right at the very bottom. And now we need to detach the vdisk, so we're going to type detach vdisk and then type exit. This will take us back to the command prompt and then we can close this off. So that's the actual uh, disk part done and now we can have a look at that file and you can see it there. That's all now been created and it's ready to be used to install Windows. So let's open up our virtual box. So what we're going to do here is go to new and then you can type in a name of whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be calling mine say Windows 7. Go next. Then you need to give it the memory size what you want. I'm just going to give it say 2 gigabytes say roughly. And then we need to come down to where it says use existing virtual hard drive file. This is the one we've just created. I'm going to browse to this now. 
and find that file and that's in my G drive let's select that and create okay now that's all been created we need to point to our actual um, Windows 7 ISO or CD you can do that here okay so now we've got that installed we're just going to click on start now and this will actually start to install Windows 7 onto our little virtual disk that we created now I'm not going to go through the whole process here because you've seen me install Windows 7 so basically you just go through the motions here and it will install onto that little virtual disk we created okay you just click on install and away you go okay so that's now all complete and uh, you've just created yourself um, a VHD file with Windows 7 on it and if you went into your actual uh, my computer here and then looked into your G drive you'll see it sitting there and you can just delete that if you want to get rid of it let's have a look there it is there so if you want to get rid of that you can just click on delete and it'll be now gone and then all you need to do is open up your uh, virtual box and delete it from the menu system from there as well I've had to do a voiceover on this video because I've recorded through my webcam by accident so just double click on virtual box there and then you just click on the actual one we just installed there right click and then click remove and it'll ask to remove all files if you wish or just delete that file I've already deleted it but I'm just removing it from the menu there and that's basically that so that's basically how you create your own bootable VHD and also be able to run that inside VirtualBox and install whatever Windows operating system you like okay so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys hit that subscribe button and show your support by rating and favoriting all my videos and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again bye for now